simple map, draw on Saturday, draw tonight, but um, very different reactions at the end of both games. Yeah, because uh, I think I've said to you over the years before that like, some draws they feel like uh, defeats and they can do and, and Saturday maybe did and uh, today certainly feels like a win because of the, the excellent second half performance and the character um, that the whole group showed to, to get back in the game. A tough place to come and, and certainly had chances to go and win it. I felt obviously had chances to maybe extend the lead in the first half, but we had chances to extend uh, or to get the lead in the second half. First half, so two two down and Hamilton scored twice. So they could have could have had a couple couple more. Um, what was what was your feeling about the first half and, and in general? Um, I pride myself, Tony, and, and, and the homework, me, Jace, Mickey, all, all the staff, and the organisation and preparation that we do. And, uh, and uh, the information that we give to the players to make, you know, people say we've got a certain way of playing. Yeah, we make it really difficult for teams, and we're in teams' faces, and, and they don't give us the credit we deserve. And um, that's what we are normally. But I felt in the first half we won, and I felt from many times, especially from dead ball situations, that our organisation and structure wasn't good enough. And it certainly led to the first goal. Um, so I'm very disappointed to come here after 15 minutes and give someone a goal that is an uncharacteristic goal for us to concede, which I'm obviously not happy about. And then when the second goes in, I felt we looked uh, um, I'm not shell shocked, but yeah, I just wanted to, to get in at half time and I wanted a response. And regardless of what the score is, my team uh, has always showed character, always showed fight. Um, and that's what I couldn't care less about the score right? I just wanted that to be shown. Again, because in the four, year, four seasons now, fourth season, I've been very, very rarely have I had to tell my team that I, very rarely that it's not acceptable. Um, but uh, that was my team in the second half. That was a live, one of your lively half-time team talks then. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, they, they don't often come around, but uh, it's, it's just to the point. You're, you're, telling, you're telling the facts, you're being honest. Um, just where we were, that we weren't, all, we weren't organised enough. Um, and we weren't good enough and uh, we didn't win enough first, seconds and we sort of felt, um, yeah, a little, whatever the word is, shell-shocked, whatever. Um, but our response um, was excellent and a complete domination in the second half. Change, change the personnel as well at half-time, it's not something you'll know, you, you, you do on a regular basis. No. Um, I think a little bit worried about Sam Hart being on a yellow card. Yeah, he was on a yellow card. It's, it's difficult for Sam, no pre-season because he got injured early. Um, he's trying to catch up with games, he's had to go and play a large chunk of, chunk of minutes on, on Saturday with Easter going off and it's really difficult to then go again on Tuesday. So, uh, so yeah, I didn't want to go down to 10 men um, early in the second half, so that was a decision to make there. Put him right back in at left back, Omar was outstanding and, and so was Killian when he came on. And Omar getting, getting forward and getting, getting into the box sort of more than he had done, almost more than he had done when he was up front in the first yeah, half. And, and, and and brilliant run, brilliant header. Yeah, and we, we had a chat with him, before, me and Jace, before the game, um, not just at half time, but yeah, uh, again, we don't get credit really, but a well worked throwing um, and a great ball into the box. Um, and yeah, Omar getting in between the sticks and, and uh, a great header. And, and you could tell Northampton were unsettled, and I think the second goal came from that. Came from that as well. They couldn't quite, couldn't quite cope with Killian once he was on, with Omar coming through from midfield. Yeah, it was a big start for us. I, I talk about other teams. I'm not talking about now. But I just sense they maybe felt the game was done when we were walking down the tunnel, and I just said to the lads, "The next goal's massive," and I just want a reaction. And um, yeah, I don't really care about the score. I just want to show a bit of spark and a bit of energy, and, and be back to us, um, what we are. Um, and we were that for the whole of the second half. And Donovan, Omar scoring first time since the first day of the season. Donovan scoring for the first time since the second game of the season must be a, must be quite pleasing as well. Yeah. Donovan took that chance really well. Yeah, definitely, and and, and, deserved it. and we, we deserved it. Omar deserved it. We, we had so many chances, several chances. Kizzy's had one on stroke half time, let alone one in the second half. Uh, we had two headers in the box there, and um, we've had good moments, good moments to go and uh, to go and uh, to win the game. And probably slightly disappointed that we haven't. And they, I know, don't talk about other things. They, they. Appear to be making changes in the second half to, to counter us rather than the other way around. Well, exactly, yeah, they're changing the shape. They're at home. Exactly, they're changing the shape. They're, they're trying to tweak things. They changed the shape three times. Started with one, changed to a three, and then changed back again. So, um, yeah, um, it goes probably credit to us on the second half. And what we've got to forget it as well, as I'm again, stating facts and people knowing it, we've got eight key players out. We've got three big centre halves, big characters, big leaders, good lift, John. Um, uh, Pierre, and in midfield, Eastman, Butman, uh, Ali Smith, John Barden, uh, even Rose thrown into the mix as well. There's big characters and big players. Um, John Barden, obviously, but you know, he's a long term, but um, big characters, big players, men, 
and we've come here with eight, eight out to uh, a tough place to come on and ground out, showed real character in that second half to get a deserved at least point. Yeah, Louis played on Saturday, but not tonight. Was that a, a reaction to it? Yeah, just, just slight. He's got every chance for the weekend. Eastie, uh, just with his eye there, uh, again, hopefully. But uh, yeah, and Pierre's hopefully back in training as well. So um, yeah, hopefully the bodies with Jack Rose is doing again some more kicking today. So hopefully we'll get a few of those back. Uh, Goody's had the brace off, as I've said. John Barnes back at home recovering, doing well. Ali Smith's back running now. So Butterman as well is, is back running. So I don't see him being long, long term with, with most of them. But we are really um, hitting a bad storm here with injuries, and uh, we've then gone and made it four unbeaten tonight. And I'm absolutely delighted. Come to one of the promotion favourites, two and a half time, and almost at the end being disappointed you haven't won. It says something. It says something about the way we, we play. Exactly, because I was proud. I was proud of the team. I was proud of the, the whole squad, the staff, uh, to, to stick together and grind that out, and then to go over to the travelling support, which I thought was excellent tonight. Superb on a Tuesday night up here. So um, again, thanks for the support that's coming on the road with us. And on the road again on Saturday up to stop who have yeah. just come into to, to a little bit of form over the last few weeks, so yeah. doesn't not going to get any easier. No, no, it's not. They're, they're all tough. It doesn't matter where we go, but we're back to our work as well tonight. Uh, we'll see where we all are uh, over the next few days and, and look forward to Saturday's game. And just one other thing, a substitution at half time is not something you're known for, and only, only then making one substitution through the whole game is just that, that unusual, unusual as well. But I guess there was no reason to change it in the same No, time. I just felt. I just felt Donny looked strong and Killian made an impact and Omar, all right, a bit of cramp, but kept shouting, get on with it. And, uh, and we did. Well done, Matt. It's great, great second half. Thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah. And we'll see you at Stockport. Brilliant. Cheers, Tony. Thanks a lot. Nice.